to be or not to be scared. <laughs> okay, that was very scary. That was really scary. Yes, welcome to Reacting to True Story Scary Animations Part 21. And we're with the girlfriend Sarah 200 Kaney because we're on the road to 200k. We got to get her there. Yeah, we're almost there. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to her channel. Click that first link in the description below and check out the video that we did on her channel. It's also scary. Please. Yeah, check it out. Before we get started, go ahead and sit on that like button. What? What? No. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Break it. Okay. Break the like button and let's try to get this video to 50k likes. Since Halloween's coming up and it's all about the candy, comment down below your favorite candy. I'm all about the Snickers. What about you? Candy corn. Dang, candy corn was cool back in the 90s. And we got the Dang Matt Smith merch. Click the links in the description below. Check it out. Get some. Now, let's get all blankets and go ahead and check out these True Story Scary Animations Part 21. Did I do it? No, you did, did I not. Do it? You look like an interracial ghost. Did I get it? You got it. You got it. Something was in my apartment. I'm homeless. It's a scary paranormal story that happened to me in my sophomore year in college. It still gives me creeps and scares me to this day. What? It's a true story. Trust me. As New Year has just begun, I moved into the apartment. It's a two bedroom apartment with two bathrooms. Me and my housemate got our own rooms. Everything seemed nice and got along great for the first week. I would often wake up to sounds in the middle of the night coming from the kitchen since my room was the closest to it. Somebody's just getting I a snack. I always assumed it was my roommate having a late night snack. Yeah, see? It's a rat. After the second week, he told me that he was actually going to drop the university because he didn't feel so well physically and was kind of homesick. So well. I was sad that he had to go, but I was a little excited thinking that I had the apartment to myself <laughs> and wouldn't hear his midnight munchies. And that night... I woke up to noise from the kitchen again. What? I was a bit confused because I was the only one in the apartment. Oh. I was alone now. I then went to investigate. No! What did he do? He went to investigate, and guess what? He's white! Why do they always, why? He just said it. Yeah. Oh, I went to go investigate. Oh, you're white. Or I mean, you know what? Literally at my job last night, someone broke in and the alarm went off, and my manager went to check, and I said, "No, don't investigate." Was he white? No. What? What? Was he black? Yeah. And I told him not to investigate. He's you would be so proud of me. It's on camera. Yeah, I would have left. I would have been out of there. People going to investigate, girl. You better get that out of here. Hashtag don't investigate. I was alone now. I then went to investigate no. and found a knife on the floor in the kitchen. I put it back in the drawer and went back to bed thinking it might have fallen from the counter. Yeah. A few nights passed and I didn't hear a sound except for this night. I heard some sounds coming from my closet. Ew. It was about 3 a.m. And then I just felt a coldness around me and my hair was standing up on my whole body when I woke up to see my closet. What? Suddenly I saw a dark figure standing next to the closet. What? It looked like a Dementor from the Harry Potter movies, but it disappeared in a few seconds. I figured I was having a wild imagination. Yeah. The next day I felt tired from all my classes, so when nighttime fell, I knocked out in my bed. <laughs> that night was the night I would never forget. Why? I remember waking up to some noise coming from behind me. I woke up and I realized that I couldn't move. All I could move were my eyes. Sleep paralysis. I was laying in bed in fear. My heart started to thump really hard. I felt a cold air behind <gasps> me as I felt this person coming closer. But I couldn't hear any footsteps. That's when I realized the bed was shaking viciously. Oh, gosh. But it wasn't because of me. It's an earthquake. I tried to see at the corner of the room and I saw the dark figure from the other day. Mm -mm. This time it had red eyes. Oh. Like mm -mm. those of the devil. My heart sank when I saw it. Although I wasn't a strong believer in God until that moment, <laughs> I closed my eyes and started to pray to God to help me. There you go. I started to remember my parents and friends. Mm -hmm. That's when I felt the figure stop. I just kept thinking of everything that made me happy and praying to God to help me. Mm -hmm. And finally, I felt the dark figure leave the room, Ooh. retreating back to its corner. 
After five minutes, I was able to move my body. Dang. I decided to go sleep at my neighbor's apartment for the <laughs> night as I ran away as fast as I could run. <laughs> I eventually moved out of that apartment by the end of the month. Mm -hmm. And now I'm always wondering if those things are what made my housemate leave. Needless to say, I'm glad I moved out. Oh. No! I'm sorry, if somebody is knocking at my door at three in the morning and trying to sleep at my place because their place is haunted, mm -mm. I will yell outside the door, but nobody's home. But I can hear you. That's uh, Alexa. Yeah, Alexa's talking right now. Yeah. Woo! I did not quite poop my pants on that one, but it was creepy. I give it a good six and a half. Five. Why are you such a tough critic? That was creepy. Well, I think that was creepy was his ears. <laughs> leave him alone. Jeez. I was going to say what was creepy was his outfit. I mean, dang, man, it was not looking too good. Not fresh at all. But go ahead, comment down below what you would rate that scary story on a scale of one to Pooped your pants <laughs> or your shorts Ew. or nothing. Ew. Uh, put your pants on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hashtag put your pants on. Okay, moving on to another one. Let's go. Haunted house. Something terrible happened to her this Halloween. It's Halloween now. My parents were looking for a house to rent for mm -hmm. a long time, but they weren't able to find any nice house, Dang, you got which hair. was close to my school and dad's office. After a long search, my dad found a house, which was also close to my school. Close to a graveyard? It seemed really nice, but there was one thing about it that I didn't like. Mm. Right behind it, there was an old abandoned house. What? Uh -uh. Why would you move there? Usually I'm not that scared of these things. But that abandoned house really unsettled me. And because my room was at the back of the new house, I could see that creepy house very clearly from my room window. Uh. Some curtains. <laughs> yeah. Mom, couldn't Dad find any other house? Dang. Spoiled. I don't like my room. <laughs> I can see that abandoned house from my room window. That mom's about to slap her. Annie, <laughs> don't you know the struggle your dad went through trying to get a decent place to live? Mm -hmm. Can you guys take my room and I'll take yours? <laughs> I don't want to stay in that room. I hate it. Dang. Annie, don't throw tantrums. Instead of focusing on these foolish negative things, help me to get the house sorted. Dang. Unpack your stuff and get your room set up the way you like it. There's a lot of work left to be taken care of. Come on, be a good girl. <laughs> Dang, her oh, eyebrows on point. No matter what, they wouldn't give me the master bedroom. Her mom's a demon. <laughs> Maybe she looked like a After demon. After <laughs> a few days, I got used to the room and slowly my fear of that abandoned house faded. But one night, <gasps> something strange happened at nine o'clock when i was in my bed trying to sleep my eyes flitted over to the window no. what? and i saw someone staring at me from the top floor window <gasps> of that abandoned house oh gosh I don't see him. It's right there at the top. What? See that thing? Oh. Ugh. It really disturbed me. Mm-hmm. At first, I thought I was just imagining things. And I kept reassuring myself that it's only my imagination. Mm -mm. But I could clearly see that person staring at me. Me too. I still don't see it. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Yeah, that thing creepy. It's you. Shut up. <laughs> Mom, open the door. What's she gonna do? Mom, open the door. Your mom's gone. Mom. See, I bet it is her mom. <gasps> She's gone. <laughs> she had, what? What's wrong, Annie? Mom, I saw someone standing in the window of that abandoned house. Please come into my room and see. Nope. Oh. Where, Annie? 
There's me. no one there. Listen, at night even normal things can seem abnormal. This is why I keep telling you not to watch so many horror movies. <laughs> Mom, I swear there was someone in that window. Sleep, you have school tomorrow. It was nothing. You were just imagining, okay? Mm. Y'all don't the look alike night, at all. <laughs> when I was ready for bed, I saw someone staring at me from the abandoned house again. Again? Oh. I freaked out. Mom! Mom! <laughs> come here quickly! Mom. No! You didn't believe me and told me I was imagining things? See? Someone's there. Oh, where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Annie. Do you know what time it is? You started shouting at this time. Don't you care that your father is asleep? But mom, <clears throat> enough. That house is empty. When no one lives there, who would be standing at the window? Mm. Yes, exactly. That's the point. This is why I'm so shocked. Isn't it weird? She looks Look, shocked. Annie. It's Halloween time. I'm sure some neighborhood kids are playing a prank on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Oh, some kid must be playing a prank on me. Dang it. Please get some sleep now. <laughs> okay. I had decided that night that I'm going to catch that little twerp. <laughs> must be someone twerp. from the neighborhood. I just want to know who it is. I'll then report this to his parents. He'll get grounded. With what? Him. What parents? <laughs> she looks angry. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to hold in a fart. <laughs> Next night at noon, I set out for the abandoned house. Oh no! I was so determined to catch that kid tonight. No. Don't investigate. When I entered the house, it was completely dark. Like my soul. Mm, dark like my skin. <laughs> I arrived brave, but now I was getting a bit scared. I slowly and carefully climbed the staircase. I knew that whoever is playing that trick on me must be hiding in the top floor. When I came upstairs, I looked around the room. It was so dark, and right there was that window through which I could see my bedroom. Oh, there's no one here. Hmm. It's her imagination. She's gonna see someone in her room. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, what? Huh? Twilight Zone? Oh my gosh, that was- Mom! Mom! I'm here! What? Mom, I'm here! Girl, run back! I ran downstairs and tried to open the front door. But it was jammed. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I tried with all my strength to open it. Are you kidding? But it wouldn't budge. Even though when I arrived, I left the door open. Somebody Please, someone open the door. Somebody locked you in. I'm stuck here. <laughs> Please, someone open the door. Nobody can hear you. Oh God. Oh God, where am I stuck? <laughs> That's why you don't investigate. <laughs> oh no. God, please help me. What?
doppelganger demon done took over and made itself to look like her. Dang, it's like the movie Us, doppelgangers. Ah. That was a good story. Mm. That was really cool. It trapped her and yeah. it took her place. Jeez, see? I've been telling everybody, see, this is why. If she had just stayed in her house and minded her own business, bought some curtains, just close them at night, you ain't gonna see a thing. Oh, please let me know what you guys thought about that one and what you would give it on the scale. What would you give it? Mm, six and a half. Six and a half? Maybe a seven. It what? was a really good story. I'll give it a seven. You better give it at least a seven. Jeez, I give it an eight. That was an eight. That was creepy. It was really creepy. A little bit longer than the other ones. It was creepy. It was scary. It got me goosebumps and everything. Yeah, I got goosebumps like even on my face. Or that's acne. What if now she has to trick someone into coming and replacing her? Yeah, probably. That's what I would try to do. Just try, you know, it's an exchange. You gotta exchange your soul to get out the house. <laughs> That's creepy. You know, I'm just not gonna live in a house. How about that? I'm just gonna live in an apartment or a mobile home or something. Nice. Or on the street. Yeah. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the video we did on Sarah's channel. First link in the description below. Yeah. Go click it. Click it and let's get her to 200,000. 200K? Yeah. Let's get her to 200K subscribers. 200K needs. We can do it. And get him to 10 million. Yes, please. If you haven't already, just subscribe to me and let's get 10 million. So just go ahead, click below, click that subscribe button. All the cool kids are doing it. And the uncool kids. And so the uncool. everybody. Yeah, everybody's in included yeah but that's it thank you guys again for watching and we're gonna see you in the next one peace